Hey what's up guys, welcome to this player review with me boy FIFA 1 HD where we will be taking a look at the 89 rated David Silver card. Now before we do, as always if you enjoy the video please remember to hit the hell out that like button as that will really help me out as well as the subscribe button too of course if you are new to the channel and if I can help you guys out in any way possible maybe you've got questions about David Silver, the team that I used him in or just FIFA 19 then ask away in the comments as I'll be happy to answer those questions for you. So without further ado we've seen the team that we used him in now we're going to jump in and see those attribute details and as you can see the areas that really stand out are definitely the passing and the dribbling columns they are exceptional we'll start off with his passing which is phenomenal he's got incredible vision at 92 good crossing his free kick accuracy is okay at 76 nothing really to brag about though but where he really excels is that 92 short passing 81 on the long passing and 82 on the curve his dribbling is even better with 92 agility 90 on the balance 87 reactions 93 ball control 89 dribbling and 92 on the composure his shooting are also really good areas he's got incredible attack positioning meaning that he makes incredible runs at 88 he's got decent finishing shot power and long shots in the 70s Nothing really to brag about on the face of it, but he felt a lot better in game, I must admit. Volleys and penalties are also pretty okay. Pace does let him down somewhat. It would be nice if he had more pace, but to be honest, the pockets of space that he moves into, I had no issues with it at all. He's not the strongest, and he's not going to be making tons of tackles, as you can see, but he does have some pretty decent stamina there at 78. So now we've seen those attribute details, guys. Let's have a look at some in-game footage and hear what I thought about him. So David Silva, is he worth buying? Well, hell yes. This guy came straight into my team and made an instant impact. When David Silva has the ball, he is so special. He's like a little magician. As he is in real life, that is how he plays in this game. Finds pockets of space that other people wouldn't imagine finding. And when he's in that space with the ball at his feet, he can be truly devastating, no matter whether it's with his finishing, his passing or just mugging people off with his incredible dribbling skills. I loved his shooting. Now, while we saw his column and it didn't look too impressive, it looked okay. There was a good area with the attack positioning, but nothing really more than that. In game, as you will see with some of these goals, he hit belter after belter. And I really loved his shooting. I just found it very clinical. No matter whether it was from outside the box or inside with a nice one-on-one, -on -one, he was able to finesse it around the corner, but also bang a few in with some sheer power off the laces too. His passing though is definitely the reason why I wanted to try this guy and he did not disappoint in this area. I was struggling to get my strikers in and once bringing David Silver in, that all changed. He was able to play passes that other people just wouldn't be able to think of. He got people in behind time and time again, so pinpoint, so accurate with his passing. It was precise pass after precise pass and an all range of passing as well. On the ground, little chip through balls, cross field passes, absolutely everything. This guy is a magician with the ball at his feet. He can just teleport it from one place being at his foot to exactly where you want it to go. There are very few better in the game and I would highly recommend him just for that stat alone. However, with the ball at his feet, he is also so, so deadly in terms of the way he can move it, the way he can shift it between his body weight and just get himself that yard of space to then either play the pass or take a shot because his dribbling and his agility and balance are exceptional. I love how agile he is. He can twist, he can turn, he's got decent skill moves as well, and he will beat people for days. I tell you time and time again, this guy just found the space that he needed, and he did it with such ease. Lovely ball control, really good dribbling, and very good composure. And in my eyes, that actually made up for his lack of pace. His attack positioning, how agile and balanced he was, meant that he was able to be in the right spaces at the right times and so he never really noticed his pace and in all honesty I don't think pace is too much of an issue in FIFA 19 especially for a cam I just think that the way this guy will play especially with the right instructions on him he will be a pivotal member of your team and well worth going out and buying so I loved him I found him so so good in game he scored me some great goals and I found that with him in the team I played much better and won a lot more games and the strikers were definitely scoring a lot more goals so overall I would highly recommend him 
I've given him a 9 out of 10. I think he is well worth going out and buying. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and peace.